what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel and for those who are brand new here if you guys enjoy my content please subscribe like the button below also follow me on my twitter and on my twitch all right so today i want to share with you guys my top five best class setups in modern warfare in season six so usually i play ground war or 66 and i use those and i also i dropped a bunch of games that i had plus 300,000 kills using these classes and also tactical nukes and stuff like that uh, so hope you guys give it a try and let me know down in the comments if you guys liked it or not all right so let's start with the kilo kilo i run usually in ground war and uh, i use monolithic suppressor 16.6 .6 barrel uh commando for grip 50 round mag and super grip tape all right um the i don't think it's worth using the the 19.8 barrel and 6 round mag just because you lose a lot of mobility and also you're gonna aim down sight way slower so it's totally not worth it all right so on my secondary i have here um m19 with monolithic suppressor 5 mw laser lightweight trigger 21 round mag and a kimbo perks eog ghost amped semtex grenade and steam shot my second class Amax. Amax is my favorite weapon in Warzone, and uh, of course, it's not the same class setup, but this is for multiplayer. And this gun is a laser beam as well, and you know, guys have a lot of mobility as well. And uh, I use Monolithic Suppressor, Zodiac Barrel, Ranger Ford Grip, 45 round mag, and a simple grip tape. Uh, if you guys are playing small maps, I recommend switching the simple grip tape for the stock. The last one, the CR56 stock, all right? Because you guys are gonna have a lot of mobility and also you guys are gonna be aiming down sight way faster, which is very, very useful in Modern Warfare, all right? So secondary, I have the same M19, uh, Akimbo, etc., etc., the same as the, the Kilo. EOD, Ghost, Amped, uh, Syntax, Grenade, and Steam Shot, all right? My third favorite class, I mean, this is my favorite, I'm not gonna lie, it's just third here in the video. Uh, MP5. So my MP5, uh, there's a way you can have seven attachments on it, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how. Uh, first off, when you use the monolith monolithic integral suppressor, uh, the barrel, you guys get your muscle suppressed with it for free. So it's basically one attachment and you're getting two out of it. Ranger for grip as, um, for my under barrel, 45 round mag is light of hand and stock FTAC collapsible. And here, here is the trick. So if you guys go to the M19, if you guys put the fully loaded, you guys are gonna have extra ammo that you can use for your MP5. So this is the reason I use a fully loaded on my pistol, uh, which is the M19, my secondary, when I use the MP5. And I have Molithic Suppressor, 5 MW Laser, fully loaded, of course. So I can have 7 attachments on my MP5, 21 round mags, and lightweight trigger. Alright, perks, EOD, restock, amped. Uh, I don't use Ghost usually when I'm playing 66. Um, because I like to move around a lot. I'm a very aggressive player, so I don't think it's worth using Ghost unless you're camping or, you know. Um, sitting in a building in a window or something like that and my enemies they never spam that many UAVs thank god uh, the, if they are I put ghosts right away just to let to let you know all right my fourth class here is one that no one talks about or people maybe they don't use it much but this one on 66 is one burst is OP um, the FR556 so here's a class setup for it Commando free grip, 50 round mag, 5 MW laser, simple grip tape, and FSS tech wrap stock. This gun is amazing. It used to be my favorite weapon in Modern Warfare 2. Um, and it's still one burst here in Modern Warfare. Alright? This gun is fantastic. A lot of people, uh, I don't think they, they use much. Uh, just because it's a burst and sometimes uh, if you're playing ground war or... Uh, a map that has a lot of long range gunfights you guys might not win those just because of the range all right the damage range is that that's the problem the only problem with this weapon they buffed it a little bit but it's still not getting the one burst a long shot and here my secondary i have the the deagle 
with uh, Tech Enforcer Barrel, Lightweight Trigger, 13 Round Mag, Super Grip Tape, and GI Reflex. Perks, EOD, Ghost Amped, Syntax Grenade, and Sim Shot. Uh, if I want to, I can just switch this one for restock, and then I'm set. My last one, and one of my favorites. Hope you guys try it out, this one. The MP7. MP7, I run with Monolithic Suppressor, FSS Strike Barrel, Ranger for Grip, 60 round mag, and no stock. I see some people that use uh, Slide of Hand on the MP7, but the thing is, using Slide of Hand is not gonna change a lot. That It's not worth it because uh, it doesn't make it like way faster. So it's not worth it. Uh, I rather have my barrel strike barrel and uh this light of hand is uh is not worth on this weapon i tried it before and i was not getting any advantage on it i was like i don't know why am i using it so when i was playing I, I played most of of my games were shipment trust me and uh this light of hand uh i switched it for fully loaded on the mp7 when i was playing shipping because i used to run out of ammo so much and uh, I was like, oh my god, I, I don't want to be stopping and dropping ammo box at the time because they're going to blow up and I'm going to die. So that's why I was using fully loaded. Um, but I still had to use the goddamn ammo box. And a lot of times I died because of it. But it's, it's alright. Uh, so if you guys don't want to use the Ranger for Grip, it's a weird uh, under barrel. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, you guys can put the Operator for Grip, alright? They nerfed the Merc for Grip. But if you guys go with the one of those two right here, the Ranger or the Operator, you guys are going to be fine. And just because I like to have more range, so that's the reason I use the Ranger for grip on the MP7, alright? So, my secondary, I have the same thing as my MP5, uh, in the, not my MP5, sorry, my other weapons. I have a Kimbo M19, 21 round mag, lightweight trigger, 5 MW laser, monolithic suppressor, and that's it. Perks, restock, UD and amped, syntax grenade and sim shot. Alright. My score streaks, you guys wanna see. Um that's not what I use. Sometimes. It's just because when I call my support helo, uh so many people rage quit, man. So I just don't wanna you know if I get a support helo, that means it's a good lobby. And I don't want those players backing out because of my support helo. You know, they should just shoot it down, but some people that are just laser like, no, fuck it, I'm getting out of this lobby. They just rage quit, and then and that's it. I have like two enemies to kill, and it gets boring. So that's why sometimes I just run UEV, uh, uh, VTOL, and Advanced UEV, but my entire year, that's what I ran. And Wilson. <laughs> Wilson, oh, I had 20... 26,000 kills with my you're using Wilson, which is crazy. All right, so that's it guys Um, yeah, I don't think I have any else to, to show you guys here. Yeah, try this class setups here And uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys tried it or not if you guys liked it or not Or maybe I missed a weapon here and you guys are gonna tell me and I can make a video on a, a weapon that I miss Let me know in the comments. All right Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget if you guys are brand new here to the channel subscribe like the button below if you guys enjoyed the video like the video and also follow me on my twitter and on my twitch all right thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys on the next one